Early this year, Rachel Morrison became the first woman to receive an Oscar nomination for Best Cinematography, a historic achievement. In this video essay, we will try to analyze her work through three fundamental keys. In the first years of her career, Morrison shot several documentaries. Reaction, reality, natural light. Today, we will not necessarily find these elements in all her films, but if you watch some of them, you will have the feeling that her images always tell the truth. There is always this feeling of capture reality, the truth filmed by the camera and projected in front of your eyes. Rachel Morrison herself has recognized that all the documentaries that she made were a great school for her. Above all, Morrison is a portraitist of emotions. She can do it with close shots or with wide open shots that connect to the exact emotion of the narration at that precise moment. Always with emotion as her guide, Morrison understands her work as a collaboration, and that is why it's so complicated to find two films in her career with the same visual style. Morrison belongs to a generation of DPs who understand that everyone in the crew must share the same vision. It's something that can also be found in DPs such as Matthew Libatic or Bradford Young, among others. Take a look, for example, at the difference between the two films she has made with Ryan Coogler, Fruitvale Bell Station and Black Panther. Anyway, in her works, lighting and framing always depend on the emotional needs of the scene. For example, in Madbound, look at how she lights the ideal America and real America. As a young cinematographer, Rachel Morrison is used to working with digital cameras, but she has great respect for film. Speaking to Film Comment, Morrison said that having filmed Madbound digitally in retrospect she would have filmed all the daily work on film and only night work in digital. She also added that as a painter, you want to have oil paintings and watercolors, and losing any of them would be devastating. It's certainly important that young filmmakers like Rachel Morrison also defend the survival of film. <laughs> 